few weeks ago, I bought the world's cheapest paramotor on AliExpress for $3,000. To recap the last video, I unboxed the motor, assembled it, and started it for the first time. This bad boy is powered by a knockoff 170cc twin cylinder engine made for an RC airplane. It supposedly will make 84 pounds of thrust and only weighs 35 and a half pounds ready to fly. This paramotor is tiny and I absolutely love it. Apparently almost 300,000 of you guys did too. Reading through some of the comments, it seems like the biggest concern was the lithium battery placed directly next to the fuel tank and also the structural integrity of the harness. I decided to roll the dice on the battery situation for now, but I did have my FAA certified rigger friend, Tom, take a look at the harness. Okay, because so many people are afraid that I'm actually gonna fall out of the harness and die, we have an actual FAA certified rigger inspecting the stitching on the Chinese paramotor harness. It looks pretty good to me. I don't see anything scary. That's what I thought. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's... Yeah, this power jet, that's the company you Oh, so yeah, that I swapped because oh, nice. They gave you no-name carabiners, and I figured it's easy enough to swap, so. Yeah, good call. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything scary. Almost looks good to me. I feel like, I mean, for straight and level flight, I definitely trust it. I wouldn't go out and, like, do some barrel rolls confidently. These were the stock carabiners, Air Extreme. <laughs> that sounds like a knockoff, right? <laughs> looks pretty good to me. Certified. <laughs> so even though Tom gave the harness his seal of approval, this paramotor is still undeniably sketchy. I'm gonna make an entire video specifically about everything wrong with the AliExpress paramotor, so look out for that. But originally I was planning on doing a giveaway with this paramotor, but the more time I've spent with it, the more I've realized that I can't give it away to one of you guys with a clear conscience. So instead of giving away this death trap for lack of better terms, I'm gonna give away the perfect paramotor beginner starter package, which will include an Ozone Roadrunner kiting wing, an Ozone Oxygen One kiting harness, and a copy of the PPG Bible. The Ozone Roadrunner is a specific kiting wing that is designed for anyone to be able to pick up and start learning the basics of kiting. The PPG Bible is an extensive resource for anything paramotoring, so it really gets your foot in the door if you wanna learn how to fly. How do you get entered to win? Every $5 spent on tuckergot.com for the next week gets you one entry to win the whole package. We just released these brand new super limited t-shirts. This is a throwback to the Icarus race and it's a Polaroid that's color changing. So it starts out black and white until you go into the sunlight and then it colorizes into a beautiful scene. This is probably my favorite shirt we've ever made. It's super cool. They're gonna be very limited quantities. So make sure when this video is over, you visit the first link in the description, make a purchase, and you might just win an Ozone Roadrunner, Oxygen One Harness, and copy of the PPG Bible. Now back to the AliExpress mobile. I loaded up the motor into my truck, headed to the local park, and got ready for the first flight. My parents were either equally excited about this thing as I am, or they were legitimately concerned for my safety. Either way, they showed up to witness the first flight. Anticipating that this motor is gonna be extremely underpowered, I had to choose the right wing for the job. Ideally, I would choose the largest possible glider, but all I had on hand was my 20 meter Spider 3. I figured this should work, but it would definitely present a challenge for this little motor. With all the boxes checked, I laid out my wing, sparked up the motor, and set up for a launch. Ironically, this random woman wished me luck for the maiden voyage, even though she had no idea I had a motor straight from Hong Kong on my back, and I was actually doubting if I would make it off the ground. What's that? I'm all good. Appreciate you though. I will. <laughs> Thanks. Now at this point, I did a little run up and I noticed that the motor bogged slightly at full power, but I decided to go for the launch anyway. Keep this moment in mind for future reference though. Here goes nothing, I suppose. It's going to be a bumpy flight if we actually clear the trees. Only one way to find out, I suppose. As I ran forward, I had a slight headwind to help on the launch, so I was honestly off the ground pretty quick and effortlessly. However, this night was a bit turbulent and my climb rate was pretty horrible. This meant that I was actually descending at times while maintaining full power until I outclimbed the turbulence and found smooth air. Let's go! We're doing it! I'm getting lift! It's barely climbing! 
It's working! It's working! <laughs> I'm just at wide open throttle. And it sounds terrible. I feel like I'm gonna blow it up. Everyone on the playground's looking at me like an idiot because it's so loud. Oh my god! I'm flying a $3,000 pair motor! <laughs> Wide open throttle, baby! I'm getting so high! <laughs> Let's back off slightly. I'm letting off power. I need to get a selfie for the gram. <laughs> Once I got to altitude, I was so stoked. This paramotor honestly captures the essence of paramotoring. It's so simple and basic and just gets you in the air. Nothing more, nothing less. And I think there's something special about that. Dial her back to idle, see if she stays on. Now I can actually hear. I know it was screaming before, this thing is loud. Even at idle, it's loud. Good news is, nothing has fallen off yet. It sounds just terrible with that Gatlin gun exhaust. It's basically like a straight piped two stroke. Let's see, if I angle my GoPro down, you guys can see the harness I'm working with here. And uh, I looked over everything with my rigger friend Tom. He said the stitching looked good, but these leg straps are a little sketchy. Like, uh, I'm gonna add a little gas now. These buckles are questionable. And if you can see right over here what's happening, like this leg strap could straight up pop out. So before I come into land, I wanna make it a point to check my leg straps so I don't come sliding out of this thing. Let's give her the beans again. Woo! The world's slowest climb rate on the world's cheapest paramotor. said it, it's a lot louder than I thought it would be for the size of the engine. We're like children on the playground crying because it was so loud. <laughs> <laughs>
love it. <laughs> and I didn't fall out of the harness either. No, it's great. How much gas Third did I burn? Quarter of a tank of gas, gone. Oh, How much? Quarter. That's not bad. Oh. I was wide open throttle like oh. the majority of the time. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> That's very loud. They could down at Milford too. <laughs> That was incredible! <laughs> After the first flight was complete, I took the AliExpress mobile to a local fly-in. My hope was to let some of my friends give it a try, but unfortunately it didn't make it that far. As I had mentioned before, the motor was bogging at full power, and now it was doing it even worse. I decided to try to tune the carburetor before I flew it again, and I was actually able to get a bit more top-end power out of it. But just as I was finishing tuning the motor on the ground, I noticed that the exhaust was loose and just at that moment it fell off, went through the propeller, exploded the propeller and shot the exhaust can about 50 feet away. Luckily, nobody was injured. Oh, oh. Oh. I'm like, it wasn't me. RIP exhaust, RIP propeller. That's actually somewhat decent quality. Balsa wood. So I took the motor back to the shop, I got some longer exhaust bolts for more grip, bought some high temperature, high strength Loctite, and sealed the exhaust up once again. I also mounted my wooden propeller, which in theory should give a little bit more thrust than that no-name carbon fiber propeller that came with the motor. Now I was ready for the second flight. All right, here we are for the second test flight of the AliExpress paramotor. I'm very excited. The first flight on this motor, I basically got altitude. Got up really high, chilled, and came in and landed. So for this flight, my goal is to get a little bit more practicality. I'm gonna use the same wing I used last time, and hopefully I have a little bit more top end power. And instead of just getting up really high and then gliding back down, I'm hoping I can do some normal flying like low level through some fields. I know I can't trust this thing too well. I have to always keep in mind that it might die at any moment. Current wind conditions are extremely calm, so not much help on the takeoff. So cross your fingers this goes well, and maybe we'll go for round three with a free ride. All right. AliExpress paramotor round two. This time I have earplugs in because honestly, this thing is super loud. I'm ready. Clip into my high hang point harness and uh, let's fire her up. I'm so excited, I love this thing. So this time we have no uh, power loss at full throttle. All right, AliExpress paramotor, round two. Let's see what she can do. into a situation I don't have the power to throttle out of it like the climb rate is doable but it's so slow you have to fly thinking like two steps ahead you 
can't really be reckless and then just squeeze the throttle and get out of the situation. But, I will say, like, I'm just skimming the grass here and listen to my cruise RPM. That's not bad. Like, the cruise power is definitely respectable. I do feel like, though, if I hit sync and I can't throttle out of it, I'm going to have to be ready to run because we're landing. We're going down with the ship. Dude, I'm having a realization moment right now that I'm flying through a field on a paramotor that I paid three thousand dollars for that came from Hong Kong. <laughs> what the hell? I still don't want these flights to uh, last very long because I want to check my bolts for tightness. So let's climb out. We'll get back over the airport. Back to the airport, back down to idle, and I guess I'll go ahead and kill the motor. <laughs> and uh, I just let this throttle dangle. Let's do a leg strap check. We're good. We're going to come in for a landing, and we're going to check the tightness of uh, all these bolts. So the second flight went really well. I actually felt like the motor was making a little more power, but I decided to check the exhaust bolts and they were loose again. I tightened them back and I decided to do something kind of risky. I really wanted to try the AliExpress motor on my 14 meter free ride 2. This is the most aggressive, fastest, and power hungry glider I own, and it's probably one of the most aggressive gliders on the market altogether. I honestly thought that I wasn't going to make it off the ground and I fully anticipated running the entire length of the field with no lift, but to my surprise, it actually worked. Dirty swoop on the AliExpress mobile. <laughs> I can't believe that worked that well. So in summary, first flights on the AliExpress mobile. I'm impressed with the amount of power we're getting out of it. I'm super astonished that the 14 meter free ride two will fly with this motor, but the major bummer is the exhaust bolts keep coming out. 
I think that if I can modify it a little bit, there's a way to safety wire the bolts together. But if you guys have any ideas, comment down below. Basically, I wanna make a few more videos with this paramotor. I wanna try it on a bicycle and see how fast we go without a glider. I wanna see what friends are willing to fly it and get their reaction. And I wanna make the video about everything wrong with it. So stay tuned for all that content. Now that the video is over, I hope you enjoyed and be sure to visit tuckergot.com, the first link in the description. Check out the new t-shirts. Every $5 spent for the next week is gonna get you one entry to win that Ozone Roadrunner, the kiting harness, and the PPG Bible. Super cool combo to get you started into the sport. Till the next one, hope you enjoyed, have fun, fly safe, peace.